The Merrill Fire Department purchased a kit that controls bleeding for those suffering a serious injury. The purchase was made through a $3,250 grant from the North Central Regional Trauma Advisory Council. The Stop the Bleed kits contains the necessary items to control serious bleeding and prevent further blood loss for victims suffering a traumatic injury. 62 of these kits were purchased through the grant. They'll be distributed through, throughout the Merrill community to places that have public access to automated external defibrillators. In addition to the kits, the department will be offering free Stop the Bleed training to businesses and organizations that request it. The Merrill Chamber of Commerce is working on bringing more visitors to the city. They're trying to empower local organizations to do that through grants. The Chamber recently opened its tourism grant application. The application is open to any organizers that are hosting an event in Merrill next year. It gets people into our community and that's the important thing is getting people here. Uh, it's, it's about Merrill more to life. It's more than just working here but it's a way of life here and once people get to see that uh, we're hoping that they do stay here eventually and move to Merrill. Any organizers that are approved will be able to use the grant money for advertising. Organizers have until September 9th to apply. Applications are available at the Chamber. Last year, the Chamber awarded $40,000 in tourism grants. High school soccer has finally made its way back to the Northwoods. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Saul Meyer is in the studio to give us highlights from the Northland Pines Three Lakes match, as well as some Packers highlights. Thanks, Saul. A Wisconsin Animal Sanctuary is tracking some beloved butterflies. Coming up on Newswatch 12, we'll hear how the sanctuary is trying to bring back monarchs. A program to track the population of monarch butterflies is getting underway this weekend. Scientists say the numbers are down 80% for recent years. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has the preview of Monarch Madness from Door County. Even with dozens of pollinator-friendly plants growing outside the Ridges Sanctuary Nature Center, environmental interpreter Anna Foster says seeing the familiar monarch butterfly this year in the Bailey's Harbor area has been a challenge. It's definitely been lower than usual, lower than the last few years, um, unfortunately. Um, we have had trouble finding monarch caterpillars and butterflies on our properties. Foster says factors across the country include habitat loss, chemical fertilizer use, and the weather. It's been a difficult year for monarchs, definitely. It's a similar story in the Green Bay area. We used to see quite a few of them, and even out on our trails, and the numbers are down, and, and it's, it's noticeable for sure. Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary animal curator Lori Bankson yeah, she, uh, says she's injured treated injured three injured, injured monarchs in recent weeks, enough. including this one with a damaged wing. We see what we can do to help them out. Otherwise, we have them just live here with us, get some sugar water, um, and just be here with our staff as, as long as possible. Back at the Ridges Sanctuary, Anna Foster helps raise monarchs inside this enclosure. Caterpillars feed on milkweed plants for a couple weeks before turning into a chrysalis. Adult butterflies emerge and typically live three to five weeks. But this generation is getting ready to migrate to Mexico. Before they leave, the butterflies are tagged with a round sticker. Even the little bit that we do helps. We have had some tags recovered down in Texas and Mexico. So that's really exciting that we see that these monarchs are making it, you know, all the way down to Texas, all the way down to Mexico. In Bailey's Harbor, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Welcome back. Gordy and Vicki sent us a picture of their sunflower plants. One plant has a single flower, but the other came up with two stems and had 19 buds. Gordy and Vicki say they have never seen a sunflower with so many flowers and plan on gathering some seeds to see if the plants next year will also be multi-flowered. I'd like to see this plant in person. What do you guys think? Absolutely, yeah, it looks nice. Do you guys have plants like that in Texas, Soul, or what? <laughs> I don't think they grow past the knees down in Texas. Yeah, it's a little dry there, but you know, it's not dry here in the Northwoods. We actually had a couple of showers and thunderstorms the last couple of days. Now all of that is gone. We're finally in the clear, just a couple of lingering clouds. 
but for the most part, we're going to continue to be in the clear. Temperatures, though, are a bit on the cooler end. Uh, some 50s and 60s showing up there right now, but some 40s are just around the corner. Don't worry, though. We will really rebound tomorrow. We're going to have temperatures close to 80 degrees, lots of sunshine. So tomorrow is that day for outdoor activity, so go out and about. Well, thanks for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 10. We'll be back tomorrow.